here with Bry Guy for a new updated live twin deck profile. It's been about 46 years, but we decided we'd finally get this updated for you now that we are quite literally in Arizona. Yeah, we are uh, not going to be playing this at any events moving forward. I didn't really want to like leak the list, so to speak, at like any of the events we are at, so I will be moving forward with zombies. I figured it's time to actually update this list on the channel, show you guys exactly what I've been playing, where my mind's at with the deck, and how I am playing the deck moving forward as well. And for anyone who's wondering, as I just said, we are in Arizona for the next two weeks leading up to Nationals. We will be at Nationals. So if you're going there, make sure you come say hi. Also, make sure you keep up with all of our socials, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff are in the description box down below. And with all that being said, make sure you guys have subscribed, hit the notification bell, like the video, comment some more deck profiles you'd like to see us updated, except we're not updating them soon because we're pre-recording this because we're in Arizona <laughs> right now. But anyway, I'm just going to let Brian get into the, the goo. The I, goo. The, yeah. Okay, so we're playing triple copies of Lila. I think this is the absolute best starter card in the deck. And the reason that it is the best starter card... is because she has a shark. It's Swamson. It's Swamson. say hi to Swam. Hi, Swam. Swams. Hi, Swams. Hi, Swams. But it is also because it can get you this card directly from your deck this is a card that i decided to play at two a lot of decks are cutting this to one which i don't actually think is necessarily incorrect she says draw one exactly this card is really good and i think that like honestly the best the best description of this card is just like this card literally just says draw a hand trap on your opponent's turn you're drawing at least two cards on your turn at least two cards on your opponent's turn and i've always been a really big advocate of like you know obviously your hand traps get you super far but your hand traps are only as good as when you choose to use them so just kind of keep that in mind as you go to play this deck a lot of people ask like how you know, how do you see such success with this deck uh, it's knowing when to interact with your opponent but blue gets you red and then obviously reds can get you blues and then we are playing still the one copy of treat so for anyone who does not know the actual like regular monsters on normal or special summon when you do not control a monster they can retrieve the other one directly from the deck i also for what it's worth i am playing two copies of this and one copy of this only because they can special summon themselves from the hand if you control the opposite color so red specials if you control blue blue specials if you control red you just really kind of need extenders to play in this deck you have a ton of like different searchable cards or cards to search these in your deck and a ton of ways to get to your actual engine and then the sauce the absolute broken card the one of that you are guaranteed to draw all the time the brick yeah. literally every opening hand this card you are playing with a four card hand every single time because this card is in your hand it the is deck just wants you to work harder that's all it is a mandatory requirement though uh, we are playing the 10 copies of the live twins technically because you have to play the brick but this card is mandatory i think this card is yeah. absolutely perfect in the deck and for then who doesn't uh, know you play it for troubles honey yeah, yeah, yeah you know for all my new friends over here yep you have to send a monster from your deck hand or field to the graveyard that is the evil twins and this is the only evil twin monster in the main deck but it is a free card to send. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, you could send your links, but you can also just kill your opponent if you leave your links up. So we want to close out games as much as possible. Speaking of closing out games, uh, this closes it out on turn one. Oh. This card is ridiculous. Man, this never seen this guy before. <laughs> literally searchable. I still think that, uh, you know, this card should have been banned. This card is ridiculous. Thanks, Konami. I, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking, but they we can pop it with our blue link. So you just mm. literally, a normal summon plus any spell extender gets you to scythe. The card's literally unfair. I just think it's dumb this deck literally has an in archetype pop to do it. If you are not playing in the draw phase or the standby phase, you are losing the game because Dark Ruler No More is literally just one of the most insane cards in this format. Shout out to me, losing in both phases. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, standby phase, uh, activate you know, Trouble Sunny, bring back blue, you draw one card, you pop the scythe, scythe effect, oh, main phase, wow, cool, Dark Ruler literally doesn't and matter pop anymore. pop your scythe and draw, that it's sounds super crazy. fun for me. crazy. So I will say, for what it's worth, when it comes to the scythe play, you need to know kind of like, obviously blind game one, you're, you're gonna always go for this if you can because you are trying to win the game, that's kind of the whole point of this entire Damn, deck. Damn, Yu-Gi-Oh is a game, game where you want to win? That's wild. But I, I've I, been I, doing it wrong for years. <laughs> I do think, though, that like you kind of need to know what decks are playing well. You need to be really familiar with the meta and if this is actually the correct line. Because if you're not going for the Scythe combo or you are going for the Scythe combo and you, you know that your opponent like mains Droplets or has Imperm or has a ton of different like interaction pieces, they can actually just kind of stop you at the Dagda and mm. that's not a good feeling to, you know, that's kind of not a spot you want to be stuck in. So Yeah, that's bad. Duh. Yeah, but speaking of interaction, um, we're going to three ash. Oh man, here's cards. hand traps, you know, the rest of the deck. The, literally the rest of the deck. Three nib. And I went to go uh, a little heavy on the ogres. I kind of wanted to play two ogres and two of something else, but we'll talk about that. Well, I my think name's Brian. I posted out the hybrid. I but... did. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. Uh, I think the ogre is actually just really strong right now. It's really good against Sword Soul. It's insane against the adventure stuff. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good against like the theory on stuff it's also too. Also really good against the most decks that rely on like a specific field spell. Yeah, it's just like I think ogre is just like super versatile. It's also like it doesn't have a great Despia uh, like interaction, but if they do like 
like special summon out one of the Despia monsters or even normal summon like the Aluber. They go to search something and then you just ogre it, get it off the field. It's a lot harder for them to poly with it when it's on field. So it does kind of trade one for one. It Obviously they get the poly, which really sucks. So they get the, the branded fusion, but sometimes not having to play through double masquerade is what this deck really needs. So I think ogre is really strong. Uh, I am playing the one copy of DD Crow. This is realistically just kind of for the uh, cross out target, but I think Crow is actually really, really strong. And we are playing one copy of Valor as well. I feel really silly and I'm probably wrong. So comment section, please don't roast me. But is Ogre any good against Albaz if they normal summon and try to super poly the board away? Yes. But uh, I think uh, the best cards in this deck are the triple copies of Imperm and the triple copies of Draw. Yeah, this is a really nice and expensive looking. Can we talk about just like this not Starlight or Ulti Valor? <laughs> Coming from Logan, that's really funny because I've tried to get ulti veilers many times that have been denied because they're just so expensive. Oh, you seen the price of that? Uh, yeah, exactly. So I would everyone anyone who has ulti veilers wants <laughs> to shoot to them the our way. People boxes in the description <laughs> box in case you need it. But yeah, also Droplet's actually really insane in this deck because Droplet has the really cool ability where you can go, especially like going second, you can go like normal blue, activate the effect. They chain something like Imperm. You just go Droplet. Imperm does not have a target any longer. It resolves. You special the red. Now their Imperm is gone. You go cool red effect special blue and it's literally like nothing ever happened so really fun little interaction with droplet there helps break the board helps answer scythe and uh, as I said you know for the crow and for the Valor we are playing the best cards in the game I think which are triple copies of cross out designator because uh, obviously this deck loses to many it, hand traps and nib. It so. does. It, yeah, nib is like this deck's worst enemy. I think nib is actually coming back into the format. And, I think um, nib is the worst enemy of literally every cyber stack. It really is. It's actually yeah. I never thought of it that way, yeah. but it's true. But I think the best part about playing this card as well is because we are playing scythe. If our opponent does scythe us and we do not draw droplets, we don't draw imperm, we don't draw the one crow, whatever. You can just cross out the scythe, which is really sick. Speaking of cards that can hit uh, scythe in the graveyard. Ban this card, please. I literally think this card is unfair. Oh, but Brian, I, I don't want to play with hand traps. That's... I don't want to stop the hand traps. <laughs> Unfortunate. Play a deck that doesn't lose the one hand trap. Or play cross outs. Like, pff, bam. Big brain. We have a bunch of extenders in this deck. Oh, I guess I can, uh, we'll just shout out real quick to um, Vlad for hooking us up with not only the Euros, but the Euro print three copies of Secret Password. Thanks, Vlad. Euro print what three copies of Sunny Snitch, and then the double copies of Live Twin Home. Love to see it. And then th this is basically your other extension package, and then the last copy is Monster Reborn. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, so, I mean, like on activation, this card searches a Live Twin. You can't ogre this card. A lot of people think that like you activate this card, then activate the effect. Mm. It's not how it works, so it's actually really cool. Uh, and then this is like one of your like win con. I don't want to say shout out to win. time. I was gonna say I don't want to say win con because I mean, it I sounds feel, really I bad. Feel like but... Every deck is winning somehow in time. Like Sword Souls burning. Yeah, uh, this is Therion burning. Punk is losing to six hundred because they play for Zemean. Uh, this burn. I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's, everything it's really burns, strong. gains. Sun Avalons does both. I mean, you pick your poison Even the new Marinta stuff has, like, burn effects yeah, built into it, so. Burn has just become an unfortunate yeah. mechanic in the game, so, like, honestly, anyone who complains about tumbles. it, yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> if you're complaining about it, I don't know, I don't know man. Yeah. It's, it's just normal at this point. And then this just retrieves, this is literally Itelli. It's the in archetype Life Twin. Uh, it's Itelli mm -hmm. by discarding a card, use a special Life Twin from your deck. Mm -hmm. And then Secret Password can search either of these, so you realistically just get to choose, so if you open Open, like multiples mm -hmm. you just search the other one uh, the deck is 41 cards if you don't want to play scythe i would definitely recommend the mm -hmm. second copy of effect veiler or mm -hmm. a second copy of crow it's all really good ash bait too yeah like, that's all, all really spells, strong like they all just kind of like they're bait most of the time anyway and like. all the spells also just help you uh get to this card so starting with the extra deck the one copy of dagda uh, please ban this card i just ban scythe actually and then the one copy of lingerie i still i choose to play this card a lot of the times i think that this card is just really strong on the boards that like you're opponent it, like one of the decks that I would not really um, like to see the scythe combo against the sword soul because even though they're like a mid-range deck they do have a lot of hand traps they have a lot of interaction on your turn and one of the strongest cards that they can search is blackout and lingaribo answers blackout lingaribo actually just answers a lot of those like mid-range decks that like uh, especially like PK, Tri-Brigade, it hits Revolt. This card can also kind of get you into the line where you can like 
dodge things. Yeah, we're grabbing field centers. Well, oh, I mean, sorry. Well, had it sitting over this whole time, <laughs> just awkwardly. Yeah, just like it, um, the fog blades and stuff like that. So yeah, I think Linger Evo is really good. It's just really good against like trap decks too. Mm. We don't main deck any outs to back row, but Linger Evo can actually put in a lot of work with that. He's a good boy. And then this is just really standard. The double copies of yep. the Lila, triple copies of Kiss a Kill. Mm -hmm. Triple copies of Trouble Sunny. This hey. quick effect tags out and grabs one yep. and or both. So just so you know, uh, if your opponent goes to like interact with this and like, oh, I'm gonna call by the target, you could still grab the other one. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. can still do That's things so wild. if that they hit this. Target. The one difference though, I will say, uh, we are playing the one copy of Nightmare Unicorn. Mm. This is a fiend monster. So yes. I think. I'm gonna level with y'all. One of the main reasons that I'm choosing to kind of put this deck down for a minute is because this deck is uh, has two bad matchups, Despia and uh, Despia. It, it, horrible, like literally almost unwinnable. Yeah, this Mirror deck Jade kind of ruins Literally everything. Mirror Jade at the end phase, this deck just can't beat it. Um, they normal summon an Elbaz, they normal summon a Luber, they normal summon a Tragedy, like literally any name in that deck that is summonable, they just go uh, normal, activate Super Poly, you lose your entire board because you're uh, this is literally your entire board. So going second, uh, any twin plus an extender gets you to Unicorn to shuffle back the Mirror Jade and then also gets you to Trouble Sunny. Hopefully you have hand traps you can interact with your opponent. Once again, make sure that you are interacting with your opponent at the right time because if you're just throwing things at them at the inopportune time, it's not gonna make a difference. That yeah. deck is literally insane. They can play through so many things. Mm -hmm. Super Poly absolutely destroys this deck. Yeah. Um, Fallen of Albaz absolutely destroys this deck. Yeah. Mirror Jade destroys this deck. So we side very heavy, very heavy for that matchup. And then the last Link Monster is the one copy of Transcode uh, Talker. Please reiterate this because the All people right. in the back will not listen to you anyway. Okay, so we're gonna do the combo real quick before, actually, we're just gonna do this. Uh, the, the rest of the extra deck is the one copy of Sky okay. Cav, the one copy of Downer, oh, man, and the one that? copy oh, of Zeus. Zeus. Boom, there it is. That's literally it. Okay, so that's the entire extra deck. For, so for people who don't know, everyone, you know, in the last video, were like, did you know that this Cyber Slugger, that you can't use this? Okay. Oh, you know, actually, we've never read this I, in I our lives, guys. You know, we've insane. never read, we haven't played this deck ever. We actually have no idea. <laughs> no invites with this deck or anything. It's cool. No, it's fine. But <laughs> so basically, what you're going to do is this is going to be your Trouble Sunny, right? You're going to have Trouble Sunny with a red and a, oh, that's a red and a red, a red and a blue in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. You're gonna activate the effect, tribute the Trouble Sunny, bring back both. You're gonna draw one card, pop one card. Mm -hmm. Your opponent passes over to you, you have both of these. You literally need any normal summon. It can even be a hand trap, it does not matter. Literally, you just go, okay, normal summon the card, link away into the transcode talker, bam, right there, okay. Notice here, we're not activating the transcode's effect. We're gonna activate the red's effect though to special back the blue. Blue's effect now can help you clear another card on the board. Now, bam, we're gonna link summon these wow. into a second copy of Trouble Sunny. Keep in mind, we haven't activated transcode. Mm -hmm. Transcode doesn't activate, it has a passive effect. Not an activated effect, a passive effect where it just gives the targeting protection because it's co-linked and it also gives an additional attack, uh, attack boost because it is co-linked as well. Okay. So you go attack, attack, effect, tribute, bring back out, draw a card, attack, attack for game. It's over 9K. Wow. That's the combo. You literally, you literally never activate transcode. You activate nothing. Transcode is just a passive effect in this deck. So just for everyone who knows, like, uh, yes, we are very aware that it does not. Yes, this is a PSA. Yes. We do know what the cards do. <laughs> Please make sure you also know what the cards do. Mm -hmm. So this is the updated list. I actually think this deck is very, very strong. Insane Sword Soul matchup. Insane yeah. Despia. Or, this deck, uh, not this Despia. Deck insane slaps Adventure. Sword Soul. Adventure. And this, this deck just destroys any of the Adventure Punk stuff. Uh, it destroys a bunch of like these rogue decks out there. No. Absolutely it's bodies strong. Eldritch. This deck is extremely pilot dependent. It like, is. It really this is. This deck is extremely micro interaction based. You can't just show up and be like, oh, I'll just, you know, I can just win. Like, that's yeah. unfortunately not what this deck does in particular. But yeah, do you plan on updating this deck once the splites come out in Power of the Elements? Oh bro? my god, yeah, this deck is going to be insane when Power of the Elements comes out. Speaking of insane, um, the Trouble Sunnies are bought out. So if you haven't gotten these and you want to grab the Starlights because, you know, this deck is actually going to be literally like tier one, I, get them now. Get these now. These cards are going to be yeah. even more expensive. Once Power of the Elements come out, we're definitely going to be updating this deck. We'll be updating uh, Splite Fro Frogs. Oh, I know, Zogan's it's so deck. fun. Wow. Our favorite decks are finally both playable in the same universe. This is so crazy until they inevitably hit zombies again. Um, but we just wanted to update this for the meantime before Power of the Elements comes out because everyone's been asking for it. And I mean, hey, we still got a couple months until it comes out in Nationals. So, you know, if you're 
If you're feeling adventurous, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, you can play this deck if you want to. Also, shout out to State Classic. Yo, Field Yo Fields are uh, insane. Yeah, this is the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. We'd be more than happy to help you out. We are an open book. We are welcoming answers. Just please make sure you watch the video before you ask any questions because I know there's some <laughs> inevitable person skipping around and will make some comment about the transcript thing. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Remember, we are in Arizona, so follow all of our socials and links in the description box down below. We love you. You matter and make sure you check out all the videos somewhere on either this side or this side or whatever <laughs> side, side i'm yeah. on i'm this weird i'm not on face cam but anyway bye See